the third Grand Prix of the season and the first in Europe of 1994. Without the usual frenzied atmosphere prior to the start after tragic events during qualifying when Roland Ratzenberger crashed his Simtek and died as a result of his injuries. Ayrton Senna took pole position for the 65th time in his Grand Prix career and for the third time out of three in the 1994 season. Nicola Larini standing in for the injured Jean Alesi qualified well on the third row of the grid in the Ferrari. Mika Hakkinen for McLaren on the fourth row. Martin Brundle yet to score a point for his new team McLaren lining up on row seven. He was third at San Marino in 1993. An all French ninth row with Eric Comas and Eric Bernard. Two Lotuses disappointed in qualifying on the 10th and 11th rows. David Brabham, Roland Ratzenberger's teammate lining up in the Seoul Simtech. 25 cars on the grid for the start of the 1994 San Marino Grand Prix. Ayrton Senna made a good start, so too did Michael Schumacher, but JJ Leto was stranded on the grid and hit by the Portuguese driver Pedro Lamy in his Lotus. Fortunately, both Lamy and Leto emerged unscathed from this big accident. Leto stationary, Lamy coming through from the rear of the grid, thinking that he'd spotted a gap, but Leto's car stuck there, stalled in its grid position, and Lamy slamming into the rear of the car. One wheel flying off the Lotus into the packed grandstands over the catch fencing and endangering the spectators in the seats there. The safety car out for five laps. The field packed in behind the safety car. No racing going on as they cleared the track on the starting grid. Then the race underway. Ayrton Senna leading from Michael Schumacher in the Benetton. Schumacher, the winner of both races prior to San Marino and the championship leader. Senna's car inexplicably veering off to the right and careering at high speed into the concrete wall at the side of the track on the Tamburello curve. The red flag brought out to stop the race, the marshals on the spot immediately, but nothing that they could do. The whole right side of Ayrton Senna's car destroyed evidence, the sheer destructive power of the accident. crash happening on a part of the circuit that had seen accidents in the past, notably in 1989 when Gerhard Berger went off in a Ferrari, but the results of this incident much more tragic. Ayrton Senna lifted into the air ambulance and taken straight to hospital at Bologna where later in the afternoon the dreadful news was announced that Senna had died as a result of his injuries. Damon Hill and the whole of the Williams Renault team left in a state of confusion and disbelief. The Tamborello curve where the accident happened, a high speed section of the track and not a particularly difficult corner to take. The race resumed. Schumacher being overtaken by Berger for first place on the restart. Damon Hill in the Williams-Renault holding down third place and then attempting to attack Schumacher for second as they went into the tight Tosa corner. The Benetton and the Williams touched. The front wing of the Williams Renault was damaged and Hill was relegated to last place after an enforced stop in the pits. 
Michael Schumacher ahead on combined times, but behind the Ferrari of Gerhard Berger, actually on the road, attempted to find a way through. Berger, in his 150th Grand Prix, used all his racecraft to prevent the young German overtaking him. But then suddenly, he slowed coming out of a corner and Schumacher was passed, leading the race and also leading on combined times. Berger in the Ferrari later dropped back and retired his Ferrari from the race. Mika Hakkinen in the number seven McLaren enjoying his best performance so far for his new team. While Nicola Larini, standing in for the injured Jean Alesi in Ferrari number 27, held down second place. Briefly, he was ahead of Michael Schumacher on the road, but combined times still gave Schumacher the overall lead. Damon Hill, having dropped down to last place, was working his way back up through the field to 14th. Larini moving aside to let Schumacher through and the race order on the track was now the correct race order in combined times. Pierluigi Martini lost time after a brief collision with Martin Brundle. David Brabham was ruled out of the race after spinning with a puncture. Pierluigi Martini eventually beached his Minardi. Mika Hakkinen, meanwhile, was holding down third place, but only just from the Sauber of Carl Wendlinger. Hakkinen, the Finnish driver for McLaren, on his way to his best points finish for his team. Damon Hill working his way up from the back of the field and in sight of at least a point. An incident down in the pits after Michele Alboreto's Minardi lost a wheel which flew off into the Ferrari mechanics. One man floored by the bouncing wheel and medical attention urgently sought. Potentially very dangerous situation with the wheel bouncing out of the pit lane and onto the track. Quick expert work by the marshals. Andrea Di Cesaris, his 198th Grand Prix, ended against the wall. And Christian Fittipaldi walked away from his stranded footwork. Michael Schumacher came through to win his third race of three in the season so far. A maximum of 30 points for him in the Drivers' Championship. Nicola Larini in the Ferrari. His first points in Grand Prix racing. While Schumacher had beaten Larini by a convincing margin, Mika Hakkinen came home in third place in the McLaren, only just ahead of the Sauber of Carl Wendlinger. Damon Hill eventually made it up from last to sixth. Schumacher the winner, Larini for Ferrari in second place, Hakkinen for McLaren, Wendlinger for Sauber in the first four point scoring positions, Katayama for Tyrrell, great finish for him and a single point for Damon Hill, Katayama and Hill both a lap behind the leader. Gaggle of British drivers in 8th, 9th and 10th and both Ligiers finished the San Marino Grand Prix. Certainly no good feelings, I mean, just win the race but I can't feel satisfied, can't feel happy. I mean, what happened this week and never have seen something like this. Not just one thing, so many things. 
the only thing I can say about this is I hope we learn from this. I think there is a lot to learn from and we have to use this and things like this, they shouldn't happen without taking the experience from it. It's the only thing I want to say and I can say. Michael Schumacher in no mood for celebrations after the San Marino Grand Prix. He leads the Drivers' Championship by 23 points with only three of the 16 race series completed. Mika Hakkinen in joint seventh place after his third position at San Marino. But everywhere, including the podium, a sombre atmosphere after two fatalities over the weekend. Grim-faced Michael Schumacher at the prize giving and a muted atmosphere too amongst the crowd even though there was a praiseworthy performance from a home-based Ferrari driver. There are inquiries and investigations into the incidents to be completed but soon after the race all was confusion and grief.